Hi there, welcome back to the next ClickSense tutorial video and in this tutorial video we will going to talk about the if condition in ClickSense. So as it is mentioned the if function returns a value depending on whether the condition which is here condition provided with the function evaluates as true or false. So if condition is very useful and it helps in many scenarios. The only thing you need to take care is that uh, if you are creating a very large if conditions like if and then multiple if statement inside it because it allows the nesting, then you should think of other functions like uh, alt that we have covered. There is another function which is called pick. Uh, whether you can uh, justify that uh, with the help of other functions or you can create sort of flags. So, but we will uh, see this, but just as a uh, caution or warning that uh, it, it creates an issue when used uh, with the nesting if statement or nested if statement because it's a very resource intensive and it slows down the application. So, um, what do we have is basically this data set where we have the sales group, we have the teams, we have the date and amount and uh, let's say the uh, the, the if condition we want to use is on the amount that if the amount is less than 20,000 then it is um, maybe moderate or low and if it is greater than 20,000 then it is high. So let's see how we can define the syntax for this click sense scenario. So let's go ahead and load the data and here the data is loaded successfully. Let's go into the analysis and uh, over here we will create one table all right and within the dimension we will provide the let's say if condition so or maybe what we can do is as a dimension we can add the amount and for this amount huh what is this amount i was not expecting this so there are some values which are over there let me just quickly check whether all right so here it is also some amount is present i'll just comment that come over here and load it again all right analysis so here is this amount which i was expecting and i want to see in front of this whether it is high or low so what i'll do is uh, i'll just select this and enable this so that i can go to add column and click on measure to create a measure and here i will start writing the if condition if now i need to specify the condition so condition is if amount is greater than 20000 then it is high right otherwise low all right so where is my cursor here it is apply so as you can see if it is greater than 20000 yani that means if it is equal to 20,000 that even that even that will be low or considered low because we have we have said should be greater than 20,000. So 23,000 and 25,000 is coming as high whereas 14,000, 17,000, 19,000 is coming as low. But what if if you want to create one more category like low, medium and high where we say that if value is uh, greater than 20,000 is high but if it is between uh, for between uh, or less than 15,000 then it is low and if it is between 15 to 20,000 then it is uh, moderate or medium. So in that case we will again have to go in and create a nesting condition. So what we need to do is modify our uh, expression little bit and first we'll start with the lowest one. if amount is uh, is less than equals to 15,000 then it is low and now here we will write another if condition if amount is less than equals to 20,000 then it is medium and finally if it is beyond that means if in the else condition we will say for others we will going to say high which is beyond 20,000 so anything which is below 15,000 
even if it is zero or 500 or 100, 1000, 10,000 will all be considered as low. And if it is uh, less than 20,000, but this condition will make sure that uh, anything which is going below 15,000 will be considered as low. So anything between 15,000 and 20,000 will be considered as medium and rest of the values, which is obviously greater than 20,000 will be considered as high. So let's click apply. So now 14,000 is low, right? 17,000 to 20,000 if you see is medium and finally 23,000 to 25,000 is high. So this way you can create your custom categories and if you see we have used two if statement. One if statement is this and another if statement is afterwards. It's little dim but you can clearly see this even in the tooltip. So that's about how you can use the if condition as well as multiple if condition to satisfy the conditions that you have and get the desired output for your analysis. So that's about it for this video and I will meet you in the new video, the new topic.